hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it is victor once again it's another day and we have another scholarship so today we are at king's college london in search of fully funded masters and phd opportunities so if you're new to this channel welcome we talk about fully funded opportunities around the world scholarship opportunities to be precise so in case you're new look around there are lots of opportunities here for you and um yes welcome and for those returning also thanks for coming back so we are at king's college it is true that several funded opportunities in the uk are coming to a close so some people already have their offers and um i'm happy to announce that some offers are still open some scholarships are still open especially this one at king's college london so we actually have a couple of them today we have this one for nurses it's like a master's fully funded master's scholarship for nurses we have a number of opportunities for African students seeking to do a PhD at King's College. We also have um, also opportunities for those in the life sciences. So in case you want to apply for things like um, biology, um, chemistry, and a number of things, or a combination of them, there's actually a scholarship here that is still open that you might just want to look at. So we'll be talking about all these together. So just stick with me. So let's go back to the first one, the one for nurses. So this is a very general scholarship known as the Baudet Trust Scholarship or the Baudet Scholarship. Yeah, this is the name here. And it's open to both um, international and domestic students. So there's a lot about the background of the scholarship and I think you should read it because it will help you, you know, to hone your your, your your scholarship essays when you're writing because you know the background and you know the history and you can tie your own experiences to the history and the background of the scholarship so what is the scholarship all about there are three major master's courses eligible for this scholarship for the Baudet scholarship you have clinical research MRS, you have msc palliative care and you have msc clinical nursing so these are the three courses eligible for this master's and of course there's a quick summary of what they cover and that's what the courses are all about so you can look at them quickly and see which one best align with your interest and your background so to be eligible for this scholarship you have to be either from the uk the eu or overseas so it's open to anybody actually so anybody with the right qualifications can apply so you have to have a nursing background of course all nurses apply to all nurses from either the eu the uk and um, overseas and ready to come and study at king's college for a year and then you must be a registered nurse i think i've said that already and have relevant experience so you can't just come from any other field that want to you know grab the scholarship is for nurses alone and um, fortunately unfortunately depending on where you stand um so to apply for the scholarship you have to also apply for one of the courses we talked about already. So either clinical research, MRS clinical research, or clinical nursing or palliative care. So, but while you're applying for one of these courses, you have to indicate in your statement, um, personal statement, that you also wish to be con considered for this scholarship. So there should be a brief sentence in your personal statement, mentioning particularly this um, Baudet fellowship and how it will help you. While you've done that, you also need to provide these other documents like your CV and then show evidence of your professional registration as a nurse. It's very important. You can see reference letters, personal statements, and things like that. And um, about your research interests, what are the issues you want to address? What skills do you want to obtain through this scholarship and how with these skills help you to address those issues in your nursing career and things like that. So there might be a, the, the scholarship interview, as you can see here, there might be a scholarship interview. So take that into notice. So what you should do is to apply for one of those eligible courses we talked about earlier. And then I'll show you a form you also have to fill. So for now, let's talk about money. The scholarship is fully funded and there are two spots here. They said for one for home and one for international applicants. So it's quite tight, quite tight, I must confess. But not to worry, if you get in, it covers your 
your tuition and a stipend of close to 18,000. You know, covers your university fees for the program and a stipend close to 18,000. That's if you're international. For home, it also covers your tuition and um, a stipend of 1,000, um, 10,000 to 50. So the deadline is, is at the end of this month, the 31st of May. So you should put all your documents together before then. Before then, try to put all your documents together. Then the interview will come up in June, as you can see here. Now there is a form you need to attach. This is the form. So when you apply for one of those eligible courses, whether in clinical research or palliative care, you need to also attach this form, which is which was created particularly for this scholarship, the Budget Fellows Scholarship. So you can see here, basic details about yourself, like your um, address, phone number, your certification and the rest of them. Then a 4,000 character essay on the benefits of this scholarship. How will this scholarship help you? You might say it will help with your promotion in your um, local hospital where you work that you need more, more exposure, more international skills to help you with exposure. Of course, it will also help you with patient care because, yeah, it would also help you with patient care and health administration. And um, the skills you intend to learn from the course, also state them here. So you have to visit the course page of what whichever course you want to apply for out of those three that we mentioned. So you have to visit the course page and see what they actually do and kind of um, rewrite some of them in few words that these are the skills I intend to learn through this course. And um, what do you intend to do with the new skills? So what are the problems, the issues with where you're working or your country of origin or your community of origin that these um, skills you acquire from the courses will um, help you to, to address, to tackle well. So that is the this essay. And I think you attach this document to your normal application. So if you're applying for any of these courses here, just to reiterate it, that these are the courses, right? The MRS and the other one, and the palliative care. And there was another one on, um, I think, nursing as well. So while you're applying for those ones, just fill this form as well. I think you need to attach this form or send it here. Okay. I think there's an email here saying, once complete, email this to this um this email address so remember when you're applying for any of one of these courses you also mention that you want to be considered for this scholarship they said there should be at least a sentence as we saw in the previous page that you want to be considered for this scholarship then for this form fill as best as you can and send here to this email address and beware of the deadline so that is it for this scholarship the instructions are clearly stated on the website so just Take a chill cup of water and then follow the instructions and you'll be fine. And in a few months time, we'll be shouting your name and celebrating with you as well. Fingers crossed by God's grace. So let's move on to another opportunity. So still at King's College, we have this one for just African students who want to do a PhD at the university. And this is for African fashion, actually, quite um, sassy. So African fashion and you need to have a background in a relevant field like international economy, political economy, business, fashion management, development studies, media. So there are a number of disciplines, yeah, relevant disciplines that could fit into this into this um, scholarship and to this course. And there's a background, of course, on what the scholarship should entail. It is often or always important to read because it will give you the context and also show you how to channel your document or how to craft your document to make you competitive for the scholarship. It's a very generous one as well. As you can see, it covers your full tuition, everything. You wouldn't have to bother about fees. And then you receive a stipend of close to £20,000. That's a lot of money, close to £20,000. In addition to that, you also receive another 5000 for research cost, you know, like to buy research materials or to attend conferences or things like that. You might just need money for something during your studies and that's like an addition. I think that's wonderful. So the application procedure is also stated here, the requirements as well. For this one, you need to have a master's. So this is a PhD scholarship. You have to have a master's. The one we looked at earlier for nursing is just a master's scholarship. So you have to come with a BSc and a relevant qualification. Having said that, 
So the application procedure is also stated here. Let's go down a little bit. So there's a pre-selection document, I think. So pre-selection means before you actually apply for the course itself, you have to check with the supervisors. And checking with the supervisors would mean sending your documents to them, and then they will pick those they think they are competitive and invite those who scale through to apply. So it means you have to send your CV, your cover letter, like your statement of purpose, and then show that you have prior experience in this field and then your work sample, a sample of something you've written in the past. So you email them to these professors. These are like the your supervisors, your um, prospective supervisors. And then if selected, you'll be invited for an interview. If you're invited for the interview and you pass, then you'll be invited to submit an application for this course. So it's all written here, the instructions, and we wish you good luck. The emails of the professors are also here in case you want to get in contact with them. For the application deadline is on the 30th, the 30th of June, but of course, it's always good to put in an application on time. Do not wait till 30th. You do not want to be caught unawares. So good luck if this is your field. Go for it and we'll be cheering you, cheering for you in the nearest future. So this is another one for those in the sciences rejoice because you now have a scholarship and this is the Liverloom doctoral um, scholarship in life sciences and you might just see that um, if you scroll a little bit more it's like um, in the areas of things like biochemistry, biological sciences, a bit of physics, a bit of mathematics as well. So, so if you're within that STEM field, you might just find a way to plug yourself into the scholarship. There are lots of details on how to apply, but I think what you should know about the scholarship most urgently is that the application deadline, yes, this is it, is just the 23rd of May, not far away. This video will be at probably on the 14th or 15th so you do not have too long to apply for this scholarship so you have to try as soon as possible and i think it has different deadlines like a rolling basis but the nearest deadline is on the 23rd of may so please start working on it as soon as possible so let's go to the applications requirements and procedure the things we need to put in place, the documents we need to have, and you know, things like that. So this video shows you like a brief um, expose of what you need to know about the course, and of course, course description and um, other info about it. And you can see the combination of several departments, physics, chemistry, infectious disease, stem, um, stem cells, molecular biology, biophysics, regenerative biology, and the rest of them. So they're just a lot of them actually. So to let's go to um, the requirements. For the application requirement, you can come with a bachelor's, with a first class or a second class upper, or a master's. So if you have a master's, it's even good news or even better news to apply for this course. And as I've been saying for a while, you need to have either physics, chemistry, mathematics, or biological sciences, biochemistry, um, and the rest of them. So let's talk about money, 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 money. So for money, it's also fully funded. It's also fully funded. And um, you can see here it covers the UK rates, but in exceptional cases, it also covers the international fees. It means that they will prioritize the UK students. Yeah. <laughs> but if you put a good enough application, it would also be considered for not um, for an international student fee and a stipend of close to twenty thousand pounds as well so that's a good one so if you're interested in this please jump on it you know, you know jump on it and try to get it as soon as possible we still have one more we actually have one more yes still at king's king's is actually being the king is being generous to us today so still at king's we have another one for african students and this one is for those at the radiology department, um, psychology, and core. Mostly the psychology department, the different strands of the psychology department. And the deadline is a little bit far away, but do not sleep. 
you can see here that the deadline is on the 3rd of July, but do not sleep. <laughs> Start working as soon as you can. And for this scholarship, the, the description is also here. The, what do they call it? The basic information you need to know. Also very generous, as you can see. Full international tuition, close to 20,000 pounds. You can see that here. And then the extra 5,000 again for you know, miscellaneous expenses. So to be eligible, you have to be African and the rest of the eligible requirements you can see here. So you have to go to the Department of Psychology, of course, because most of the eligible courses for this particular one are in the psychology department or psychiatry department. So check their admissions requirements. You have to fulfill that to be qualified. Um, quickly before we go, let's talk about the English language requirement. So it's difficult to get an exemption, I must say. And um, I've looked at this before, and they wanted to write the likes of the IELTS or the TOEFL. There's a bit of an exemption, and there's a bit of hope. Let's go to exemption. It says um, the exemption will be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis in line with the in line with the below guidance. And the number of countries given here, quite few. That's the English language speaking countries or those exempted from producing the English language test. It's quite narrow. So you have to make a case to investors, telling them that, oh, you've studied in the English language all your life. You do not need to write an IELTS or a TOEFL. But I would advise that you write those exams because they're limited spots. And if you bring like a letter from your university saying that you studied in the English language, and someone else comes with a TOEFL exam or an IELTS exam. It is often the case that the person with an IELTS exam or a TOEFL exam would get the spot instead of you. That's just the, the truth. So if there's the tile, that TOEFL exam score, that IELTS score might just be the tile breaker at the end of the day. It's quite unfortunate, but that's the situation we find ourselves. So do the best you can. Fight. <laughs> it's a competition. Fight the best you can. Try to put yourself in front of the line. And of course, we wish you good luck as usual. So there's a database in case none of these opportunities caught your interest. There's a database in the university on postgraduate scholarships. Of course, all of these links will be left in the description box below the title of this video. And you could just play around with the, with the filter function of the postgraduate opportunities at this university and see which one will pop up. Some of them are not fully funded. Some of them are partially funded and things like that. Most of the ones I've shown you now are fully funded. Are the fully funded ones available? But who knows? You might just stumble on one that I didn't catch while researching on my own. I might just find something surprising. So I wish you good luck as well. And that's it, guys. I hope this was useful. So it's a quick dash across London, you know, the King's College London, a very beautiful university, I must say, very close to where I studied as well at the LSC for my master's. So in case this catches your interest or the interest of somebody you know, family members, friends, share this with them. Do not forget. So we talked about this fully funded funding for nurses at King's College, which is um, has very generous, generous funding, as you can see. And then we talked about other scholarships as well. This one for African students in African fashion. We talked about this one for life sciences, the Level Loom Doctoral Fellowship. We talked about this one again for African students in the psychology, psychiatric department. And then we talked about briefly about the English requirement and the scholarship database. As usual, guys, if you like what I do here, make sure you subscribe. There are many more opportunities coming your way. There's hardly anybody out there doing it like the way we do it here. So subscribe so you do not be left out. And as usual, guys, I'll see you at the top sooner than later. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.